speaking of the devil, that's Itzel Garcia with the circle entry there, but they can't get anything out of it and Canada defends smartly. Mexico looking to drive the baseline. Instead, defended well by Canada. And now it's Novak up the sideline, but out of play. Off the deflections. Canada will regain possession. They'll have a chance to move their players up, see if they can establish that, establish that field position advantage. Mexico's got a press on here, so they aren't able to go back to their defenders, but their defenders haven't sort of stepped up to meet oh, Brooke the press. What a great ball through. And that's Michaela. Good job, to, oh. Michaela Stelling. Oh, and, and there it is. They fight it across the line. Great work from her knees. And it's an awarded goal there. I think Grace Lie, number 16, got the last touch on that one. And Stella was in the Stelling was in the neighborhood as well. Turned. I would imagine they're looking for a foot or a back stick. just with so much tight play in front of the goalkeeper there. I imagine there will be lots of pressure on that person trying to strike the ball. Yeah, it'll be so interesting to see if Canada comes out with the variation. They have the same setup here with McCusker and Malinowski at the top of the batteries. And they're going to go back to Malinowski. And this time they do do a variation as it's McCusker and defended well by Mexico. Good read, but they get the yep. reward. They're getting two runners out to the, both batteries so that both those uh, strikers at the top are marked. Again, to Malinowski, this time to McCusker. McCusker spins around and gets a shot, and that's an immediate foot and a reaward. Just ultimately not getting that quality shot on net. Yeah, they just need to execute this a little more quickly. There's too much time between the stop and the there oh, we there go. there it is. That Brooke was a McCusker. better look. She takes it herself as she pulls it off, and again, it looks like we might have a referral. Yeah, this one might be an umpire referral. We're getting a look at the replay here. See if we can walk you through this. As this looks like a umpire referral as I believe Mexico lost their referral earlier in the game, referring the first, go uh, first goal. Gib to inject. Comes out to the second battery. Oh, it's McCusker, and they're playing a little variation uh -huh. off their goal scoring one, and now it's Puakis trying to dig for it, and the refs lets them play. Managed to come up with the ball again. This is Grace Lie, number 16, Canada's first goal scorer. They get the ball into the circle. It's McCusker, just can't quite manufacture that onto her forehand for the shot, oh, but they but win managed the to get the foot. Got lucky there, kind of missed the trap, but it rolled back for the Mexicans. But ultimately, again, another reaward. And this is very positive for Team Canada. If you're Team Canada, you get three straight corners for right at the start of the half. This is huge. Well, third time was the charm in the first half. Let's see what happens here. They go back to what worked in the first half. Where, oh, and nice save by the Mexican goalie. Canada still pos maintains possession as it goes off the goalie. They may give to inject McCusker has an opportunity for a drag there. Canada gets the turn and oh, yes. finds the goal. He manages to get it through the goalie, get the goalie moving on the far post here and gets it through the goalie's leg. Second unit. Oh, and it's good effort there. Mexico again with solid defense. Now they crash one out. Oh, and it's received really well by the captain, Itzel Garcia, and, can't, and they come out with a little Mexico's bit of pace getting here. numbers up the field. Garcia keeps that oh, ball save alive. At the baseline. And they're going to get a circle entry out of this. Ooh, Canada, lucky to get out of that one as they as they brought their players back and played cross, affected a little bit by the Mexican player, and she pops one out of play here on the close sideline by the camera. <laughs> I 
injection goes to McCusker. Variation to Malinowski. And a one-timer shot back to the injector, Katie Gibb. But Great. Mexico well is played equal by to the, the Mexican test. keeper to um, come across to that. Canada working the ball around, gets it to Polakis. Polakis trying to navigate some space to shoot. Goes for the high shot oh, and the goal! Nice goal. Nicole Polakis wiggles her way into a shooting opportunity, takes the ball onto her backhand and flips it up and over the Mexican keeper for Canada's fourth goal of the game. And again, this time, she's the setup girl sometimes. Injection goes to Espinoza. Tries to lay it off for Garcia, nothing there. Maybe just a little bit too cute there as, uh, you know, sometimes a good hard shot on net, Bespinos has already showed her power, uh, can sometimes yield a better result than trying to, you know, do something overly creative. Better pace to beat her defender there. Pulak is with a nice turn, all the way over to the far side. Malinowski now into the middle, and a uh, goal! Canada counters effectively. Great and quick counter. Takes advantage of the personnel advantage and scores a goal. It's tough to see who got the last touch on that one, but we'll let you know. But what we know is it is a Canada goal against the... Stelling. Stelling loses control, and they're going to let the advantage play and get a An corner at the whistle. Time corner. So Canada will have one more penalty corner set in their tournament. Let's see if they can make it a good one. Well, I... Everyone up for Canada here. It's Malinowski with the sweep and deflected in, and that's the way you want to finish what the game. Finish. As Canada finishes off this one with a sixth goal at the buzzer. Really well done there as Stella Malinowski swept that one through. I know it got a deflection, and we'll get you the name of the goal scorer in just a sec. But 